bang, 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 bang. Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant. In today's video, we're gonna demystify the myth that you cannot blur out backgrounds with micro four thirds. That buttery bokeh, that awesome depth of field, nah, cannot be done with micro four thirds. Well, that's what the internet wants you to think. That's what YouTube wants you to think. That's what the socials want you to think. It's what the influencers want you to think. But I'm telling you right now, you can definitely 100% blur out the backgrounds using your tiny little micro four thirds sensor. Let's roll that intro, let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah, micro four thirds and blurry backgrounds. Bokeh monsters, or not. Let's face it, there is big rumors getting around the interwebs and stuff like that, that you cannot get rich blurry backgrounds using micro four thirds. And I'm here to tell you that is 100% not true. You can 100% get awesome results, beautiful bokeh results using your tiny little micro four thirds sensor. Now, just quickly, uh, for me, I'm not really a big bokeh chaser. Um, yeah, it looks cool from time to time if I'm looking for something very artistic. I really want to compress a headshot or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to go for that look. But most of the time, especially with my personal work, I'm at 5.6 and up for all my street photography, EDC, family photography, that sort of thing. I've been recently booking a few family sessions and I'm always at f2.8 and up um, with those portrait sessions because I want to get everyone in focus. So yeah, blurring out the background is, is not really on the top of my list. However, that's not to say that your tiny little micro four thirds sensor can't handle the job. And I think that's the first point to make. I think people are led to believe you need a full frame sensor to get that rich blurry background. The bigger the sensor, the better results. And look, let's just face it. Yes, there is some truth to that. The bigger the sensor, the blurrier backgrounds you're gonna get. However, your micro four thirds sensor can do that job too. Tiny little sensor, if you know what you're doing, you can definitely 100% get awesome blurry background results. So things you can focus on is the lenses and the focal length you're shooting. So for classic portrait work, or if you really wanna isolate your subject, get a focal length, like maybe anywhere from 25 mil, 50 mil, all the way up to 42.5, classic 80 mil focal length. Those focal lengths with your distance relationships to your subjects, you're gonna get awesome, creamy, blurry backgrounds. Lenses like the Noctochron um, F1.2, 42.5 mil, that lens, I own that lens. I don't use it all the time. It's a very specialized kind of lens in my opinion for all the stuff I do anyway. That aperture at 1.2, yeah man, you are really gonna blur out the backgrounds. On that lens, I'm usually at f2.8 and up anyway. And it's that classic 42.5 or 80 mil focal length for portraits and all that sort of stuff. 
the lenses you use, you know, in conjunction with, with your micro four thirds camera, it's always gonna make a big difference. For myself, I shoot a lot of wide angle sort of stuff. So I'm at 12 mil to about 20 mil most of the time. I use my 12 mil F1.4 that's filming me right now. Um, I use that lens, you know, the bulk of the time. I love that 24 mil field of view. And I'm not really chasing, you know, a blurry background. However, even with that lens, with your distance to subjects relationships, setting it at F1.4, uh, just take a look at these shots here. Just got to keep in mind your warping and all that sort of stuff when using wider lenses in this style of photography but it's got everything to do with your focal length where your subject is the compression all that sort of stuff other lenses i like to use if i want to blur out the background on micro four thirds is the 35 to 100 mil f 2.8 zoom lens that's a classic awesome i must say portrait lens for me use it all the time for portrait to work really compressing uh, you know, my subject, compressing the background, always looks great. And as I've mentioned before, you, know, you can pretty much use any lens at any aperture. Uh, well, maybe not any aperture. All depends on where your subject is compared to the background, the foreground, all that sort of stuff. Use your feet and you'll be able to get creative, creamy bokers. Bokeh. So yeah, it really is just a quick video here to really demystify, give you some examples that you can absolutely uh, blur out the backgrounds, isolate your subjects using micro four thirds. Don't let the internet or the so-called experts out there tell you otherwise. Be creative, use your feet, make the right lens selections and you'll be absolutely 100% fine. Anyway, let me know what you think. Um, do you think I'm right on this topic? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this sort of thing, please do consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Big thumbs up for the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.